New Central now continues in the east of the continent where the Chinese embassy in Somali has donated about 140,000 U.S. dollars to assist Somalis affected by the ongoing floods which have displaced more than 1.7 million people across the nation. Chinese ambassador to Somalia, Feishen Gachao, said the funds will be used to provide humanitarian support to Somalis affected by the floods resulting from heavy rains pounding the country. They noted that the Chinese have witnessed Somalis suffering from severe floods, which have claimed more than 50 lives and displaced over 700,000 others nationwide. He added that the Chinese government consistently stands by the people of Somalia in difficult situations and has pledged to participate in reconstructing the economic infrastructure damaged by the rains and in building dams. And still in the region, the UN Office of the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs says a total of 386,973 people have crossed into South Sudan, with 83% being South Sudanese nationals since the outbreak of conflict in Sudan in April 15th. OCHA, in its latest report released in Juba, the capital of South Sudan, said among the arrivals, half are women and children under 18 years of age while Sudanese refugees constitute only 16% of the influx. According to the report, border monitoring teams noted a 16% reduction in Sudanese refugee asylum seekers over the past two weeks, down from over 3,056 between November 2 to 8 period to 2,557 between November 9 and 15 period. It adds that most arrivals are utilizing 22 monitored entry points with humanitarian organizations facilitating onward transportation assistance. And today we take you on a journey to witness the breathtaking beauty of South Africa's celebration event called Jankada Trees. Now every summer season, these magnificent trees spread their purple blossoms and chanting both locals and tourists alike. We explore why these trees have become a symbol of admiration and awe. Bungani Sisiba tells us more. In the heart of Pretoria, a city renowned for its natural splendor, the arrival of summer brings forth a mesmerizing transformation. Streets and buildings are immersed in an ethereal purple hue. Thanks to these spectacular jacaranda trees that shower the city with their delicate blooms. These jacaranda trees transform the streets into a magical purple paradise, providing a spectacular natural display enhancing the beauty of the urban landscapes. Yes, it's that time again when Job and Pretorians become alive with excitement. We've been quite lucky this year. We haven't had any big storms. So the jacarandas have stayed blossoming for longer than they normally would. But uh, it's one of the, the beautiful things about Joburg, uh, Joburg and Pretoria. You get these magnificent jacarandas. We live in beautiful areas, these old trees. They've been around for decades, and um, they're very special. While these two cities may not be the best tourist destination, the blooming of the jacaranda trees makes a base for multitude of sightseeing and true test of country's heritage and culture. Um, I think they just, it's so unique to Joburg, and they really do like create this kind of wonderland environment. We've walked 42 kilometers today to just view the, the jacarandas, so I think they're pretty special. <laughs> in Johannesburg, the jacaranda trees have become an integral part of life. They shape the city's identity and create an atmosphere that fosters a deep sense of community. They look nice and then normally they make the streets look perfectly in this place and then I normally see people taking pictures, wedding pictures, celebration pictures, when it's like, especially on Sunday, if you go to Amach Road, there's dust, that gap when the sun is about to set, when you just see purple, it's very nice. But the purple jacaranda trees are not the only ones weaving their mag. Alongside these vibrant blooms, there are also ordinary white jacaranda trees that line certain streets in Pretoria and the beliefs surrounding these jacaranda trees reveal the deep-rooted connection between the people and the natural world around them. 
from generation to generation, these stories are passed down, instilling a sense of wonder and reverence for these magnificent trees. And actually there's an old wives tale that if a jacaranda flower falls on your head, you're going to pass your exams. So I always think about that when they're falling this time of year. If you're wearing flops, they are peas. And the peas don't sting you. And then when it's raining, you don't have to walk on top of them. They look very nice, but don't walk on top of them or you will fall. The jacaranda craze extends beyond admiring natural beauty. It has become part of South Africa's cultural fabric embraced as a symbol of pride. Apart from their striking visual appearance and how they decorate the streets, I am fascinated by their sweet lavender fragrance. Wangani Siziba, for News Central TV, Johannesburg.